Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another GRT price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the GRT chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart. We have also fully maximized our minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this way 4 and I still believe that soon we are going to start that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this way 5 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my breakdown targets here on the GRT chart first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started this massive bounce to the upside of being the adiative structures where you can see that I have this adiative structure in yellow having that as the first wave then a wave 2 a wave 3 giving us a peak at around the 0.2325 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that wave 3 whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 4 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 4 between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.5 which is an area that lies between the 0.1654 dollar mark and the 0.1446 dollar mark and it is within this target area that I was expecting to see the low for that fourth wave to the lower side which is an area that we have fully maximized and since we are trading above the 20 day MA we have the support that we need for us to continue gearing up and also see a break above this high at around the 0 0.18 dollar mark and continue pushing even higher in the formation of this wave 5 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the high of that wave 3 that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.2752 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 5 to the upside to do but in case the breakdown continues and we lose the 20 day MA over here continue pushing even lower get back into our red target area in the formation of this wave 4 and also lose the Fib level 0.5 then that could be giving us a bit of a breakdown to the lower side and it can give you target areas in case the breakdown continues by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 and that gives me a new target area in case the breakdown continues between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.618 which could still be the formation of this wave 4 and that lies between the 0.1446 dollar mark and the 0.1236 dollar mark and that is the new target area that we can expect uh, GRT to get us into in case the breakdown continues and we lose the 20 day MA over here in what we could term as the formation of this wave 4 once we get one more new low in uh, within this yellow target area but in case that doesn't happen and we continue holding above the 20 day MA and also continue holding within this red target area then I'll be expecting the start of a massive uh, bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 to fully maximize our target areas and over here we also had a chart pattern that was in formation which is a double bottom which I can first connect the bottoms using this blue target area and then draw out my chart pattern having that as the first bottom then we have seen the formation of the neckline then the second bottom and we are yet to start that movement to the upper side to continue gearing up so that we can see the breakout and this is a chart pattern that breaks to the upper side having the minimum target area of the breakout being given by the height between the tops and the neckline and we can get that height and then place it above the neckline giving me a target area at around the 0.2386 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I will be expecting GRT to do once the uh, movement to the upper side continues but in case the breakdown continues I have given you uh, my minimum target area in case the breakdown continues between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 in a move that could give us one more new low in the formation of this wave 4 and once that happens then my primary scenario in the formation of this wave 5 will still remain so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and before giving you the long term scenarios allow me to first take a look at the indicators where you can see that on the RSI we are trading at around the 48 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of this wave 5 but in case the breakdown continues that will still be supported on the RSI 
Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, but we are seeing a sharp decrease in the buying momentum here on the MACD, meaning soon we might be able to print that bearish cross and jumping to the daily chart for further analysis and also give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out. Basing it on the ADOT structures, you can see that a GRT from these low prices that we had been trading within, we saw that massive bounce to the upside, seeing the all time high at around the $2.9 mark in what I'm terming as that first wave to the upside. And after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing no prices in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.0518 dollar mark in what i'm terming is the low for that higher edge wave count to and after seeing the low for this second wave whatever we expect next is this massive ride to the upside in the formation of these wave three uh where i have minimum target areas at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 4.6866 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that larger edge wave count three to the upside to do so there's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.